Hey everyone, it's Yolanda, happy Friday. Today's video is sewing related. I am going to share with you some of the um, simple, easy, stash busting sewing projects that I have been working on. So far I have three done, yay. <laughs> so if you sew and uh, you collect fabric the way I do, you clean through your stash and then you're like, what the heck, what was I gonna make with this, right? That's what happened to me. So in my um, ever um, efforts in purging, cleaning, decluttering, and creating with things I have, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make some of these easy aprons and a tote bag, which I will show you. And then I have a cute little surprise that I got from an Etsy shop. All right, so about 15 or so years ago, maybe even longer, I got a tutorial for this tea towel apron for a now uh, defunct craft store called Tall Mouse. If you live in Southern California, you might know that store. They've since closed, but they were equal to what Hobby Lobby is now. They had fabric and they had every craft from, you know, paper crafting, just love what Hobby Lobby does or Michaels, except they had fabric. And they had, um, <clears throat> they would have samples of projects and they would have the printed tutorials and all the supplies that, you know, for sale for you to make those things. So they had these really cute tea towel aprons. And of course I had to buy a ton of the tea towels cause I was going to make a million dollars on aprons. I still have some of the tea towels left. Some I've de-stashed, some I kept. So I made myself this apron, but I put a twist on it. I will insert pictures of myself wearing these projects. So it's super easy. This is the, the base is the tea towel. Then you take whatever fabric you want to make your ties. But what I did is I found these cute dish cloths, wash dish, yes, dish towels, excuse me, at a swap meet. And I liked them because they say reduce, reuse, recycle. It came in a pack of two. So what I did is I cut off about a third of it and then I um, put it into the waistband. You know, before I stitched it all together, I just pinned it in there. And that way you always have a towel on you when you're wearing your apron. If you wanna dry your hands, if you wanna dry dishes, I have used the heck out of this thing. You could see the towel's pretty, pretty gnarly now. But I love it, I love it. I mean, it has withstood the test of time. So, when I was cleaning through my stuff, I knew I had one more of these towels left. And when I was cleaning, I, um, found some more of the tea towels. I, like I said, I purged what I knew that I probably wouldn't use. I kept the ones that I wanted and then I created another apron. I was going to give this one away, but I kind of want to keep it. That's not nice, huh? <laughs> okay. Did this one. Isn't that color combo just beautiful? So I'm going to show you the other um, apron that I made with this fabric, but I had some left over, which is how I made the ties. And then I had the um, checkered tea towel and then I just put that other towel on, right on the front the only thing I did different was I gathered it just a little right here before I stitched it in so and like I said I will put pictures down below not down below I'm gonna I'm gonna put pictures in the video Ay, what a doof okay then with that first fabric that I had um, not first fabric the first apron that I made with this fabric this was from a tutorial here on YouTube by um, Dana, Everyday Made, or Made Everyday, sorry. She has a lot of really good tutorials um, and her website has a lot more. She sews. So I made this one. Simple uh, waist, excuse me, um, half apron, just a little gathers. I don't have any pockets or anything. It's just simple apron, real pretty. So I made that one. And then, like I said, with what I had left, I made the ties for that other. All right, easy stash buster. Um, the next stash buster that I made is a tote bag. It's um, a video by, oh my gosh, I forget her first name, but it's Ginger Cake Patterns. And I will link the video down below and then I will link the book down below. So it's, um, she um, calls it a um, market bag, is it? reusable market bag I think so it's for you know here in California we have to have um, either pay for 10 cents per bag or just re bring reusable bags so I made this bag another stash buster with um, it takes a half yard of fabric 
inside and out and I had um, I have a bunch of like one yard pieces that I don't know exactly what I was gonna do with all this fabric it's a bunch of novelty fabric I think I've just collected it over the years because I've like to make stuff and I've made different type of stuff like pillowcases I've made dolls um, I've made aprons it's just like a lot of different stuff so um, I have quite a few different just 100% cotton prints so I used canvas which I had I used canvas for the inside and yeah it's a simple easy bag cute little bag I thought it would be really cool to personalize it with some um, iron-on vinyl would that be cute you could put book bag market bag you know organic put ve vegetables on the front anything that'd be really cute and those would make great gifts so yeah so that's what I've been working on lately I'm really trying to um, use what I have and um, if it comes to when it comes to the point where okay I'm not gonna create anything else then it's time to donate but I figured I'd get a jump on the holiday boutiques or just for gifts, like it'd be nice to have them around. So that's what I'm gonna do, hopefully. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is this brilliant idea by my friend Deborah. She is one of my dearest friends. Hi Deborah. hopefully she's watching, and Karen. And I forget your other friend's name. So it's my friend Deborah and two of her friends. Um, I've known Deborah for 20 years, okay? She's a quilter. And she would always say that when she retired, at her and her friends, that they were going to, um, or she wanted to, they wanted to create some kind of shop. And I, you know, of course, Etsy, right? Create some kind of shop where they could sell their handmade items. So she finally did. And one of the cool things that they have in their shop is this, um, it's a cover for a TV tray and it turns a old TV tray into an adorable mini ironing board. So if you're a quilter, you know, you always have to have your iron out and got to press those seams, um, even if you're just a sewist too. So um, this, instead of having your big ironing board out, you just have your little TV tray next to you and then you can press your seams and it's super cool, which I'm going to insert pictures. I'm going to show you the cover, but then I'm going to insert pictures of it all um, put together. So I've seen um, TV trays used as ironing boards, but what people have done is they've put like a layer of batting and then insole bright and then fabric and then flipped it over and stapled it all down, which is great, except when it gets yucky because you know that ironing board covers do, um, you gotta like pop that whole thing off. Well this, it's completely finished inside it out, like the edges are surged and everything, and it's removable. It's so cool. All right, so you get the um, insulated cover, so that goes on top of your ironing board, excuse me, ironing board, on top of your TV tray, which if you buy one, if you buy one of these covers, I would check out like thrift stores first for old TV trays because people get rid of them all the time. You can even just spray paint it, make it super, you know, cool, change the color, or I know that Walmart sells them. Target does too, but check the Goodwill. Okay, so it comes with the insulated pad, and then here is the cover, which it has elastic all the way around. So it fits snugly right over your TV tray, and it's just like your standard wooden TV tray, not like the oversized ones. But isn't that cool? And look at it, it's like so professional inside, so nice. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, their shop is called Old So-and-Sos, I will put the link down below and uh, check them out. They have other stuff too, like really nice pillowcases. Um, everything's handmade by them. Pillowcases, there's uh, fabric. Now, I'm probably wrong, but I think they're called jelly rolls. But it's like a bunch of different fabrics that coordinate and cut into like a roll or cut and wrapped in a roll. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but they have a bunch of fabric on there too. So check them out all right and yeah so that's about it that's all i had to share today so i will come back with some more um, craft gold videos and i want to share um, videos with my new machine called the glow forge it's so cool it's a laser and gut and, and gover gosh engraver cutter i made these cool earrings so anyhow i got to do some videos on that so thanks for watching i hope you have a great weekend and until next time bye